Here we have an air conditioning system with no pressure in it. We have these hooked up, they're open, and if we take a look at the gauges, both of them are at zero. And in fact, if I come down here and pull these off, I can even take a screwdriver, push on that valve, and you can't even hear anything. Nothing hisses out. So these have no pressure in the middle. I'm going to use this air operated vacuum pump. I can hook up compressed air to this side and it makes it into a vacuum. Um, you could, if you had a vacuum pump, that would work great. Um, you can get these for like $15 at Harbor Freight. A vacuum pump's a little bit more expensive and this hooks up to these gauges. So let's go ahead and hook it up. Now we'll go ahead and open these up. We already have them open. And then I already have these open. Actually, no, that one was closed. And I will also open this one. You wanna be careful when you're opening these. You don't wanna clamp them down whenever you close them or really open them too far. So these are both open. You can really feel that it definitely has a vacuum coming out of there. So we'll go ahead and hook this up. If you look at the needles right now, this one is pointing right at zero and so is this one. But if I hook up the vacuum, then you'll see this needle starts to go down this way and so does this one. And if I disconnect it again, you'll see them both move back to their original spots. Whenever we hook up the vacuum and we get maximum vacuum, that's whenever I'm gonna close these and we'll see if it drifts down. So as soon as I plug this in, I'm gonna wait till it gets up to its uh, maximum va volume and then I am going to close them. You can lay down a piece of tape that goes right along with that needle. So if it drifts at all, you know that it did. And we'll do it to the high side as well. Make sure that you keep these valves open to the system and these valves closed because we want that vacuum to be traveling through the entire AC system. So if there's a vacuum leak, it'll show up on our machine. After about 10 minutes, if you look at the low side, you can see it stayed right where it was. And then if we look at the high side, it definitely went down. If we look at it from an angle, we can see it's sitting right there at zero. So we know that there is something wrong with the high side. So that's how you do a vacuum test to find the leaks in your air conditioning system. So we found that we have a leak somewhere in our high side and next is the not so fun part of finding where that leak is. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.